My name is Ashley. I'm a single mother of three. Um, I'm 22. I've been homeless since I've been 16. I got pregnant at 17, and um, the quickest thing that my mom was telling me was like, you're dumb, you need to afford the baby, you can't be a mom. My grandmother picked me up, and then I got kicked out. My grandpa said, you know what, it's just too much. So I moved in with my friend, and her family decided that it was too much. It was terrifying. I didn't know what to do. Um, I went back with their father, and and then I got pregnant again. So we had to find another place, and um, you're bringing your babies to a home where there is no gas, there is no electricity. You got this lady that you think you're renting the room to doing crystal meth next door. Any minute, I thought I was gonna get my kids taken away. You know, you look at yourself and you can't sleep. You know, I was never raised like that. And my mom was always there. I always had a home. As it got hard and hard and hard, I, that's when I discovered the Alexandria house. I would call and call and there was like no space always telling me, you know, call next month, there's no space. One night, I didn't have anywhere to stay, and I, I did push my kids in the stroller the whole night. I finally got a call back for the Alex and Dree house, and uh, they had called me back for an interview. So I went, and I spoke to them, and uh, I didn't tell them everything I'm saying today, because, um, I feared, I still feared that um, somehow telling somebody my story would be able to, for somebody to take them away from me. So when I was done with the interview, I walked down the block and I just started crying. You know, um, I didn't think they were going to take me seriously. Nobody takes me seriously with my age. I'm 22, I have three kids, and it just looks like a joke to people, you know? Like, um, oh, she's just irresponsible. She, you know, you don't want to rent out rooms to somebody, 22 or three kids. There must be a thousand people that they're interviewing that they take more seriously. They said they would call me in a week. I was at work and I got a phone call saying that I got in. Um, it was the biggest weight off my shoulder. My name is Judy Vaughn, and I have had the privilege of living and working here at Alexandria House since the very beginning. We opened in 1996, and so we're celebrating our 21st year. And most important for me is having just the opportunity to meet amazing women who are committed to making a life of safety and quality for their children. This is a really sad reality, is there's just not enough places for especially women who are homeless. Women with children is the fastest growing number of homeless people in LA County. And so we try to look at those issues that keep people living in poverty and work for change. We're in a housing crisis. There's not enough jobs, no affordable housing. Our mission is to help folks who are homeless move from a shelter into permanent housing. The 180 families that have moved through these doors um, each one has their own unique story. It's very hard to get into Alexandria House because people can stay here all the way up to two years. But she called regularly until in fact we did have space available. I think all of us, everyone who interviewed her was impressed not only by her determination, but also her commitment to her children her commitment to creating a better life for herself and for her family. She's really an amazing young woman who has taken her circumstances in life and have used them as a stepping stone to become just a stronger, more compassionate, more caring young woman. People can overcome anything. As long as you try, as long as you look up your resources, you know, you don't give up. Um, this place saved my life. It definitely did, and it saved the life of my kids. It saved me as a person. Um, I 
I don't know where I would be right now if I didn't have the Alexandria house. Uh, it's scary to think of, you know, and they've changed my life completely. I wouldn't have asked for any other, any other way to change my life.